What's up, everybody? It's the Roundtable Sports Podcast. Today, we're taking a look back at every touchdown that Matthew Stafford scored for the Detroit Lions in 2020. Of course, by now, you've seen that Matthew Stafford has joined the Los Angeles Rams and Jared Goff is now with the Lions. Certainly, the Lions are going to go through a rebuild and the Rams were ready to move on and try things with a quarterback that's a little bit more complete and offers you different things and more things in the passing game. Clearly, as you can see through the highlights, that Matthew still has plenty of fastball left on his arm. He has one of the top five arms in the NFL by my estimation with Matthew Stafford, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, that's kind of my number one tier as far as NFL arms goes. And Matthew has done a great job of retaining the speed in which he throws the ball. And he's developed touch. He's developed really into a complete pocket passer at this point. And even though the league is moving a little bit more towards mobile quarterbacks, Matthew now has the requisite experience and know-how to be able to use his pocket passing and use his know-how to to move around the pocket and get away from rushers and extend plays to be able to push the ball down the field. You know, his ability to improv and be able to hit guys like that is something that the Rams have lacked in the past with Jared Goff. Now, certainly it's not a perfect career for Matthew Stafford by any means, but I do think he offers more than Jared Goff was able to offer in pretty much every category when it comes to being a quarterback other than age and other than injury history, although Jared Goff has had his fair share of injuries as well. You're worried about Matthew and his ability to stay healthy in the back half of his his career, but I think it's a worthy gamble, and I can't wait to see what Matthew can do with the weapons that they have in L.A., as well as with Sean McVay. I really like his play calling. I like the play design. And I think with the balance that the Rams are capable of, throwing Matthew Stafford's big arm on top of that and allowing him to go over the top of defenses and use Cooper Cup and Robert Woods to you know really further the ball down the field, as well as Tyler Higbee, I think that's a recipe for success. So that leaves me bullish on Matthew Stafford and the Rams. But like I said, it's all about the health. And it's all about him being able to retain all the arm strength he's had throughout the years. But I think he can do it, and he showed he could last year. So, giddy.